Hi guys, this is Guy, Coin Bureau's Crypto King. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Komodo platform. Before I get going though, I need to get one or two things out of the way. Firstly, this is not investment advice and I am not your financial advisor. We're merely research analysts who present our views for educational purposes only. Also, it's worth pointing out that we are completely independent. We don't take any payments for any of our reviews. And just one more thing, if this is your first time at the Bureau, then you may want to hit that subscribe button. We release daily videos that you don't want to miss. So with all of that out of the way, let's get right back to Komodo. The Komodo blockchain is many things. A unique blockchain, a coin that pays interest, a decentralized exchange, a development blockchain. Essentially, it is an end-to-end -end blockchain solution that external developers can use to build their own blockchains and launch their own ICOs. When external developers build a blockchain on the Komodo platform, they're building their own standalone blockchains. These will also be modular, meaning that these developers can choose the type of features and technologies that they want to include in their blockchain. Now, this all sounds very interesting, but what are these features? Firstly, you have a decentralized exchange. They've called this the Atomic Dex. These utilize atomic swaps and more recently, atomic swaps. These bridge the gap between Bitcoin and Ethereum based blockchains. At its beta release, Atomic Dex had support for 13 different coins, but can technically support 99% of all existing cryptocurrencies. Next, you have the Jumbler feature. This is a cryptocurrency anonymizer developed by Komodo, which is decentralized and open source. This uses ZK Snark technology to anonymize transactions and keep addresses safe. I'll explain this more in a bit. Another initial feature of the Komodo white paper was the decentralized fiat currencies and decentralized initial coin offerings. I won't go into these here, but you can read more in our complete review that we've linked to below. Finally, you have their recently launched Antara framework. This is an adaptable framework for simple end-to-end -end blockchain development. This will be the framework that will allow for the development of these external blockchains. The framework also comes with built-in modules, making development speedy and easier. This allows developers to natively support any software, DAP or blockchain-based games. All very impressive stuff. Now let's take a look at the technology behind the Komodo main chain, shall we? Interestingly, Komodo is a fork of Zcash, which is itself a fork of Bitcoin, so it's built on established technology. Something that I found quite unique about Komodo was their consensus mechanism, delayed proof of work. They created a proof of work blockchain, but modified it, allowing it to recycle Bitcoin's hash rate to ensure immutability of Komodo's blockchain. Komodo does this by using 64 notary nodes that work to notarize blocks in the Bitcoin blockchain. This provides protection for Komodo because an attacker would have to alter both the block in the Komodo blockchain and the block in the Bitcoin blockchain. Then on the privacy front, Komodo uses Zcash's privacy enhancing features. More specifically, they use zero knowledge proofs and ZK snarks to anonymize transactions. This is opt-in privacy, which means that users have the choice of sending funds privately or with a regular transparent transaction. We've covered zero knowledge proofs and ZK snarks extensively. Check out our post below for more info. Moving on though, let's take a look at Komodo's coin. This is the native currency behind the Komodo blockchain and it has the ticker KMD. This is an interesting cryptocurrency because it also confers holders the right to receive interest. If you hold over 10 KMD in your wallet, then you'll receive about 5% annual interest on your holdings. The Komodo team has termed this active user reward. The project held an ICO in February of 2017, where they initially sold some of these coins for 10 cents per KMD. Prices have since been on a wild, wild ride. In the 2017 bull run, Komodo coins were trading at an all-time high of over $12. However, of course, prices have fallen considerably since then, although they are still quite a bit above the ICO price. So it's faring much more favorably than many of its other projects that completed an ICO towards the end of 2017. Anyways, who is behind the Komodo project? Initially, the Komodo founders and core team kept things pretty private and used pseudonyms. However, as the project has grown, the team has been more transparent with their identities. You can read more about them in our long form review. 
The full team is now nearly 30 members spanning leadership, development, marketing and community development. And speaking of community, there are numerous contributors from the community, both developers and community outreach ambassadors. The Komodo developers appear to have been pretty active as well. This can be verified by their GitHub activity. In fact, when compared to their peers, Komodo is ranked 30th in terms of commits and 12th for overall coding activity. Pretty impressive. So what do the markets look like for the Komodo coin? Pretty robust, actually. KMD is listed on a number of exchanges, including Binance, HitBTC, Upbit, Bittrex, and others. The volumes are also pretty well spread out across these exchanges, and there is a reasonable turnover on these exchange books. This implies that there are healthy levels of liquidity and hence easy order execution. When it comes to offline storage, you have a rather limited selection of wallets. Perhaps your best bet is their native Komodo Ocean QT wallet. I've also linked to a number of other wallets in the description below if you want further alternatives. So, what do I really think of Komodo? I'm actually quite impressed. They're developing a relatively sophisticated blockchain platform and ecosystem, one that not only makes blockchain development effortless, but also uses unique privacy and security enhancing technology. The KMD coin has also been a better performer than most other projects that raised funding in 2017. Yet, there are challenges. They have a lot of competing blockchains and ecosystems that are developing similar technology. These include numerous DEX-based coins, developer blockchains, and privacy-focused coins. While none of them have really combined it all into one solution, there is the risk that their laser-focused approach could trump Komodo's all-encompassing one. So it'll be interesting to see how things play out in the coming months. And that's pretty much all, folks. Now tell me, what do you think of Komodo? Are there any other projects that you're backing? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found that video helpful, then don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys next time.